fullradionetwork. Did I get that right? Fullradionetwork.com. Okay, I'm just making sure I get it right. You know, I got to fumble every once in a while. Oh, we're here at the uh, CGS event, uh, uh, College Gridiron Showcase, and we're here with uh, Reg. Reg does something interesting for, for I guess, men and women. He has uh, the, the lock, which is, it says for men only, but you're going to come out with, with a woman's shirt. So tell us about what the lock is. Yeah, we actually have the women's version here as well. What okay. we, what we um, did was we, we went after something that nobody has ever considered, right, and that is to give core support to a short. And uh, what we tried to do was take it to the patent office and see if we could actually get it patented. And it took five years for us to get the patent. But now that we have a patented core support short that is unlike anything, it literally holds the male anatomy for men, it lifts the butt for women, it supports the pelvic floor, it holds your stomach in tight, it supports your lower back. It is basically a vital piece of equipment. It's not shorts anymore. It literally can make you perform better by the structure of the, and the engineering and the fabrics that we've used to make this product. Okay, I'm sorry. You got to take me back. I have shorts. I have a bunch of pair of shorts. And I don't think that, why would you patent a short? Well, your shorts are clothing, right? Right. They just, they just cover, cover your body. Yeah, they cover your underwear. That's right. Now, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, yeah, unless you go commando, then you messed up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Right. right. But what, what people have done is they've come out with ways to enhance your performance by clothing. And the compression short is a, is a, is a typical example like that. Or compression socks or other things. Mm -hmm. And these compression items... Are, they have medical value, so they typically, a, a pair of compression shorts, what, they're, what it's basically known for is to help in recovery. But my short supports the core, and the core is a vital thing because everybody will tell you, and actually the core short came from a ballet. Ballet okay. is the most dominant, you need to be centered, you need to be stable, you need to do Balance, all, those, yeah. all those pirouettes mm -hmm. and everything like that, the all those jumps. And, all that, yeah. and everybody always amazes at how athletic ballet dancers are because they're flexible, they're strong, they're athletic. Mm -hmm. And the core is the, is, is, the, is the thing that ballet stresses, your core. You're always trying to be centered, trying to be strong through the middle. Hose it together. That's right. So we created a short that was a combination of kind of a dance belt and a compression short, and we made it a core compression short. And it's unlike anything that anybody has. And like I say, it took us five years to get the patent. So Nike doesn't have it, Under Armour doesn't have it, nobody has it. And we have it, and we're at the CGS event here to showcase it to all of these athletes. And in fact, I have, because I'm from Toronto, Canada, okay. we, have, we have eight Canadian athletes who we gave this product to, to test it before the event. And hopefully you'll be able to get some of them. I would love to talk one we'll, or two we'll, of them. And we'll, see. we'll get a couple of them yeah, over yeah, here, yeah. and yeah. they'll tell you what they think about it. Okay, so... so um you're in college. You're in a college class. Are you thinking I need to develop a short? How did all this come about? Oh, it all all came about. I was um, I hadn't played hockey in about 20 years, and I called up my mom and I said, "Send my hockey bag over. I'm going to play hockey again." And when I opened up the bag of equipment, all of the stuff was rotten. Right? It had been sitting Moth in, and mold. Yeah, it had been sitting in my, yeah. my mom's attic for like mm -hmm. 20 years. So, but I wanted to play that day because that's when I was supposed to go. So basically, I had an old ballet dance belt lying around because I was ballet trained when I was a kid. Wow. When ballet. I was young. When, okay. when I was young. So I, I put the hockey cup inside the, the dance belt, mm -hmm. and, I went, and I went and played hockey. And I thought to myself at the end of that, I said, oh, my God. Like, it didn't move. It was so comfortable. I didn't feel the cup. The cup didn't get in my way. I so and I thought to myself, wow, maybe there's a product here. So I went and developed mm -hmm. a hockey cup short, and and Bauer Hockey, which is the biggest hockey company in the world, they use my technology for their elite jock short, and basically they sell about 150,000 of those. And I thought, well, if I can turn this into a running short, right, right, then we're talking about football, basketball, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you know. And typically, I have like a couple thousand marathoners now wearing this product. Wow. I have high-end sprinters wearing this model. And in fact, one of the sprinters in Dallas here that I've been sponsoring, he's running around 9.5, and he's lowered his PB by about 0.2 seconds. Wow. Two-tenths of a second in 100 wow. meters. And, and this is a guy that... Uh, 
and I've got another girl that's that's uh, running a six, seven, five, sixty meters. Like they're flying, and this product is helping them achieve these great speeds. Okay, so you talk about the running. The running. I'm. A, I, I play golf. You know, so I, golf. You don't run. You actually sit in the cart, <laughs> and you let the cart run itself. How, does that? Does it? Will it help a golfer? Yes. Any 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 movement that you need your core, and golf is a prime example because what do golfers have the most pain? Lower back. Lower back, yeah. Right? Lower back. So this product literally supports the lower back. I have chiropractors who are selling this product to their golfers. Wow. To their, to their people that are just out recreational sporting. And the thing is that because uh, when you're golfing, there's two things you need to be aware of, right? Every time you address the ball, mm -hmm. you need to be centered, centered. over that ball, yep, right? Yep. So the lock reminds you psychologically, in, you know, uh, without thinking about it, that you need to be strong and centered Where over the, center the ball. Is. Yeah. Right? And actually, we've got professional golfers now wearing the lock, and because they have to walk the course, they can't take a cart and have a beer, right? Right, yeah, you should can. <laughs> they, they walk the course for three days. Drive the cart behind the and, and basically, after that, every day that they walk the course, they're feeling stronger and more supported. And as the day goes on, they don't lose that stability. So if they can knock a couple of shots off their course, right? I, I was going to say, so That's then... That's big money. Yeah, so then as you... As you let's say we take, we take we say a three-day course. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go Friday... We're, everybody's, you know, kind of in the same line Friday. Right. Saturday, we play, we shoot Saturday. You know, some golfers are kind of feeling fatigued, whatever. You know, but I have the only cup and everything. Come Sunday, I should be the same as I am Friday because of the fatigue is kind of you. Less. Let's just say you will be stronger and you will recover better every day that you wear the lock. So the, the first day you come out, you'll do your thing. The mm -hmm. second day, you'll recover faster. You won't feel that initial fatigue. And again, the first time you get on top of the ball to hit that first drive on the second or the third day, you're actually, you're, you're reminded instantly to be stable and to, to center yourself over the ball. So You'll see it, as if, you, if, if it yes. as if it was Friday. Correct. You, wow. Well, I, I, I don't know if you'll see it as Friday, <laughs> but you'll be better than if it didn't happen. Right, right, right. right. And it, because as a golfer, you, you need to protect your sort of stabilization, mm -hmm. right? Because then you start whacking them and you, they're yeah, drifting into the woods. And, place and then you just <laughs> yeah, go take yeah. the camera and do sightseeing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so um, how long has this product been out? Well, we're launching this product again. We launched this product a few years ago, but we've decided to relaunch this product at the CGS thing mm -hmm. under lockapparel.com. Okay. So men and women both can go to the website and they can see the lock for men, the lock for women, mm -hmm. and how it functions and get all the information on that. We've also created something that nobody else has. We've created a lock bra for women. Wow. And the lock bra stops uh, stops bounce, basically. Jumpage. And <laughs> men don't like it, but the women do. <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I see your wife giving me the high five over there. <laughs> right. So the lock bra, what it does is it stabilizes the, the breast without digging into the shoulders. No shoulder strain, mm. no chafing, and no squashing of the breast. We don't use spandex over the breast tissue. Wow. So we've created this product, and we line it with a product called Active Cotton, which literally takes some sweat off of the breast tissue. So this is the first bra ever that not only stops bounce, but it's a healthy choice, and nobody addresses health in the in in performance clothing mm -hmm. they just talk about how it makes you perform better but they don't address the health issues of the of the, of the way the body gets rid of toxic waste and mm -hmm. things like that and it gets and rid we, of we, sweat. we're approaching we're we're focused on making the workout not only high performance but healthier letting your body breathe instead of being swallowed up by sweat okay so now you have the short you have the bra do you have any other apparel at this point no we're focused totally on these three things the lady lock the lock for men and the lock bra for women at this point but we do have active cotton clothing on our, on our, our parent company which is kinesiathletic.com okay. and we'll be uh we'll be revamping that site and uh we'll be bringing out a whole new line of Active Cotton and Lock products uh, in 2000, well, the fall of 2018, I think. Yeah. So last question, what got you into clothing? I mean, well, as a professional athlete when I was younger, and I've coached at the national level, um, I've coached athletes like for 30 years, and basically as an athlete and as a coach of athletes, I always hated the fact that synthetics were not healthy. No, okay. they, they don't breathe, they stink. They, you know, they're, they're just, they're foul smelling. And the big, the big name companies, I mean, that's their business. Mm -hmm. they, they bring out this stuff and they say it's the best ever and we have no choice. 
we either we either buy it or we don't. That's like electricity. Exactly. You get so, electricity, you freeze. <laughs> that's right. So up until this point, there's been really no choice, and yet. And a lot of athletes still wear just a regular cotton t-shirt because they love the comfort of it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And they love the fact that it doesn't smell. When it gets heavy and hot, right, that's, mm -hmm. what, that's what a typical cotton t-shirt will get. So we created Active Cotton, which takes the sweat away from your body, and it's a very lightweight. And, and again, we've got our Canadian guys who we've given this product to. When you talk to them, you can ask them mm -hmm. what they think about the Active Cotton shirts. It's a complete change of mentality. It's a, it's a complete change from the, the status quo that's been out there for 30 or 40 years which is performance synthetics performance synthetics they don't like you to call it polyester they call them synthetics because it sounds kind of sexy right? it's polyester so it's marketing but it's polyester poly it's, it's a polyester <laughs> and mm -hmm. and some nylon maybe thrown in there mm -hmm. and a little bit of spandex so they're all man-made fabrics and man-made fabrics are not healthy Okay. So okay. That's that's the bottom line. So how do we get in contact with you? You always mention the uh, website, uh, lockapparel.com. Yeah, lockapparel.com. That would be the site that we're going in here. And uh, you could look at our bigger site, uh, which has our uh, our line of athletic clothing with Kinesi. That's like kinesiology. Right? Mm -hmm. It's all about movement. Mm -hmm. Kinesi, K-I-N-I-S-I, and athletic spelt with a K, dot com. Athletic. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So I want to also put this information on our website so they can go to your website and look at it too. You can have it. Yeah. So so what will happen is you, you put our website and then you go to your website and look at it and see what happens. Beautiful. And I would love when you send one, see one of your athletes, bring them over, and I want you to talk to the athlete. Okay. I want you to interview the athlete. Actually, it's better if you interview the athlete and just ask him what you think about it because I don't want to put any words in their mouth. Oh, yeah. It's better if it comes from... It does look good, don't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> like are, you, are you looking for athletes to sponsor this product? No, we're not looking for athletes to sponsor this product. We're letting this, this, this product speak for itself, and we're here to introduce it to personal trainers, to agents, to uh, equipment managers in the NFL, and show them that there's actually an alternate product out there that okay. is really good and really healthy, and uh, they can get their hands on it. Okay, well, Rig, I look forward to seeing it. I'm gonna come by your booth, uh, and I want to bring. I want to look, look forward to seeing some, some of your athletes. I'm gonna get this thing on you. You're gonna go out and play golf and tell me how good it is. If I if I cut <laughs> anything off my game, I'll be good. <laughs> I'll probably never take it off. I'll be. I won't be sleeping until I hear it. Yeah, well, well, can, can can you shower in it if it's that good? <laughs> You know what? It's a funny thing because we had a couple of guys, sprinters, they put it on and they slept with it the first oh. night. They liked it so good. Uh -huh. It felt so natural and so it, it corrected their hip flexion problems, right? Mm -hmm. So they literally slept in it the night or two. Well, my brother is a sprinter. He's a, a, a marathon runner. Get him over here. I would definitely do that. Okay. So All right, Rick. My pleasure. All right, my pleasure, too. Right. Thanks a lot. You've been listening to 41 Sports Talk Radio on 41 radionet We'll be right back.